uh, let us say this, and when there is a moment in anyone's life where they feel they deserve something, suddenly their creations flood in. And they wonder, why uh, am I so lucky? Mm. You are not lucky. Mm. You are deserving. So can you help those out that will be sitting here saying, oh, I struggle, I struggle to feel that I deserve this or that or anything. What? Where would they start? Where would they start to be able to create a better attitude around them valuing themselves mm. and deserving things? Mm. First of all, one recognizes the attitudes begin in a past life. I want to say I am not talking about other lifetimes. I am talking about every moment from the present stretching into the past. Someone began to program, shall we say, with ideas that were adopted. First of all, at five years, they were unconscious. At seven, you began to take them on and carry them along the path. Someone said you are not good looking, you are ugly. And then you move on thinking I have to adjust my life because I am not ugly, I am ugly, I am not well liked. Then you discover you are truly not well liked, you are the odd ball, you are picked upon. Why are you picked upon? Because you are ugly and so on it goes. The creation shall we call snowballing, gathering bigger size, bigger energy and until you are completely covered. Then shall we say if you remember the past has gone. The past is irrelevant in the present moment. You have choices in the present moment. Your past is your memory of it. It is not accurate, of course. It is the distortions of your memory brought about by the attitude you carried along with it. So shall we say then, as soon as one gives up one's past, one becomes free. You do not know who you are at all, until you decide in the present moment who you are. Your decision to be deserving is yours to make. It is not something that others donate to you. Do you follow what I mean? Of course, there are many, many people around that can help to uncover these hidden ideas from where they come from and so on and so forth. But in the end, at the end of all the time that you spend doing that, the only thing that arises is that you have let go of the past. 
You have changed it. You have re-evaluated and come to a different decision, a different evaluation. And so one arrives in the present moment without the burdens of the past. And along with that, one forgives oneself for blaming others. You understand? Often you want to forgive others for their behaviors and so on and often, but it is when you forgive yourself for attaching all of that to others that you are free of it. You are constantly at that moment mm, mm, deciding to accept that you create your own reality and have always done so. Mm? I understand it is extraordinarily difficult for some people mm, to acknowledge this because they have an enormous emotional investment in retaining it. And also they are unfortunately chained and imprisoned by that. Freedom comes when you are deserving of it. <laughs> 